Next wave. Ooh. Ooh, wee. Why do you come in with blight? Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Darkest Dungeon mod overview. My name is Element5, and today we're taking a quick look at Chogex's Dimensional Havoc mod. So Cho's Dimensional Havoc is a town event mod that triggers very similarly to the Wolf Brigand Incursion event. So if you're not familiar with that, near the end of the game, uh, you have you will have heroes that reach a certain criteria of resolve level, uh, have enough of them, and you have a chance to trigger the Brigand Incursion led by the boss Wolf. So this is sort of similar uh, in the sense that on Apprentice, Veteran, and Champion levels, once you reach a certain criteria of town upgrades and hero levels, you have a chance to then be invaded by this spatial assault. Venture into the portal itself, into the hamlet here, uh, and kill one unearthly portal. So basically what happens is you will enter the, you will create a group and enter the portal and have to endure wave after wave after wave of customly coded enemies that have their own unique mechanics and tricks to them that you kind of have to figure out. And by killing these different enemies, it slowly damages the portal until you finally get through the final wave of enemies and the portal is dead. Now, just as with Wolf's Brigand Incursion event, failure to complete this event will incur some sort of a penalty. And in the case of Cho's Dimensional Havoc, uh, completely ignoring this event will result in two lost town upgrades, which could be pretty punishing. However, actually getting through the event is a lot of fun. There's a lot to figure out and it's a good challenge. There are tons of different enemy and wave variants and then if you do so, you get some pretty neat trinkets which are added to the game, you get some new quirks which have been added to the game, and you get a nice bit of reward. Now in terms of actually strategizing successfully completing the event, it's important to note that on the Apprentice version, there are five waves total. It's first a Ruins, Warrens, Wield, and Cove enemy waves, followed by a wave of fallen heroes. For the veteran portal, it is six waves total, which uh, are the exact same except added is a size two enemy. And then for the champion portal is seven total waves, uh, which just adds yet another champion exclusive round within that set of waves. And you're gonna wanna think about bringing a team that can hit all ranks, that will take advantage of stuns, which are powerful, uh, that will have cure and sustain. You're gonna to wanna to think about bringing teams that do well with endless mode runs. So in one particular case, we did very well to bring along like a Plague Doctor, make sure we have cure, also using buffs like Emboldening Vapors, since we can stack this twice on something like a Shield Breaker and just do an incredible amount of damage and get a bunch of speed bonuses throughout all of the waves combined. Stuns have obviously been very useful at the right time because stuns are always sort of powerful in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, and Guard had definitely has its place in certain respects, but buffs definitely have a ton of value. Uh, making sure you have the ability to sustain with, with enough heals, but also, uh, very importantly, is the ability to reach all ranks and to break Guard. That seems to have been a big piece of navigating all of the different waves we've endured. There are often enemies in the back that have special sort of uh, mechanics and are usually guarded by different enemies. And if you have an ability to pull them forward uh, or even break guard and pull them forward or stun them, a lot of times you can shut down the waves fairly easily. And in terms of provisioning for this, you really just need to think about bringing things that are gonna help you in six or seven waves of combat. So having enough uh, provisions that are gonna get you away from nasty bleeds and anti-venoms, even if you bring cure, I would still bring some of this stuff, you know, obviously holy waters to help with resistances and some of the nastier enemies. Uh, there will be some nasty debuffs too that you need to think about. So herbs have been quite useful. And then, you know, just on a side, you could bring some meme torches and laudanum. I don't think we really end up using laudanum very much, but it is a possibility uh, that you become horrified. And then it is also a possibility that something drains the torch light. And so being able to bring it back up uh, can be sort of useful. And just remember that the waves of enemies that you're going to be fighting against are all customly coded with their own names uh, and their own abilities. So that is really one of the most fun aspects of this mod is really figuring out what the different customly coded waves of enemies are all about, what their strengths and weaknesses are, how they work, and then how to get through them. But it just goes to say that if you are like me and you like Darkest Dungeon to be challenging and creative and kind of fun, and you like mods that will allow you to take your knowledge of Darkest Dungeon and teams and compositions you like, even modded teams, 
and then bring them into certain events and boss fights that are going to be sort of challenging and test your knowledge of how well you know compositions and how well you can adapt to situations. This is the kind of mod for you. It is for the most part not super invasive and again just comes with a nice bit of reward for a decent bit of challenge. Now it should be noted that this is only currently available in the Steam Workshop and installing it is quite easy. All you have to do is follow the link below the video and uh, reach the Darkest Dungeon Workshop, find Dimensional Havoc, and subscribe to it. And once you have subscribed to it, that's as simple as going to your actual save file and then coming over here to the Enable and View Mods list and then just making sure, as this loads here, that Dimensional Havoc is turned on. That's all you have to do. As always, if you have any questions about how to play and make it through the waves of Cho's Dimensional Havoc, we welcome that in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Darkest Dungeon content, and we'll see you next time.